Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we are going to make a stopwatch with uh typically you have three buttons. You have a start or excuse me, a start, a stop, and a reset button. So that's what we need to make. I'm gonna go ahead and uh <clears throat> either get rid of this image or resize it or something. Let's see here. Holding shift. I'll shrink that down, just shove it off to the side here. Um, best way to make some buttons, you could go to the developer tab and insert a button. We could use an image and assign some macros to them. We could uh, insert some shapes or some smart art or something like that. Let's just use some shapes. Um, we could make some smooth rectangles or something like this. Let's use one of these. Just gonna shove a shape in here. We'll resize that really quick, and we'll just make it look shiny. Yes, 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 yes. We'll just use that. Let me resize that, and then we'll uh, copy and paste that a little bit here. Let's see. Can I just add some words? Let's see. Start. Yes, I can. Start. Chewy. All right. Control C. Control V to paste. Control V to paste. So now you have your start, you got your stop, and you have your reset. And we'll assign macros to these buttons. Let's uh, move these where we want them. That's, I mean, that's fine, isn't it? For now, it's, it doesn't have to be super pretty. And the reset, we could just make it this color. So anyway, that's a very basic version of what we're doing here. Ah, uh, right. Let's see. What can I do? I can center that. Center these two things. I think I like the look of that a little better. All right. Start, stop, reset. Got a pretty little buttons here. Now well, let's write some code. I'm gonna hit Alt F11. That's how I get into the Visual Basic editor here. We're gonna go ahead and insert a module by clicking on that expandable menu there. Now what are we going to name our first uh, macro? How about start uh, time, start timer, whatever, something like that. So what we're going to do is when the start timer macro has run, we're going to want to punch in the current time there or there or there or there, depending on, you know, as it fills in. Oops. So let's Alt F11. Let's say we need to get the the uh, next row and if you've seen you need to go to my basic series if you don't know how to do this I'm just going to create a variable in R and that's going to be equal to this workbook dot sheets and this sheet is called sheet one dot uh, cells oh rows count comma one dot end xl up dot row and plus one all that to say go into the, go into the last cell in column one that is not blank and then we're going to go that plus one and f that's where we're going to shove stuff so cells on the current sheet of nr is the row and comma the column is going to be column one and that is going to equal the current time that's it equals time time is a variable that always means the current system time in excel at least in visual basic in fact i'll even indent these to make it a little prettier a little easier on the eyes you don't have to do that um, so and let's assign the start button to this macro called start timer. So I'm going to right click on the start button and go to assign macro. And let's click on start timer. Hit OK. So let's see if that worked. I'm going to click on it. You notice this one doesn't have a little, uh, you can click on this icon, but this one does because it's got a macro assigned to it. Let's click it. Hey, let's click it again. All right, it's a little excessive, isn't it? All right, um, and uh, let's see, reset. I guess that could mean that it clears everything out of here. 
so A2 all the way through whatever clear contents and we don't really I guess need a stop button because we don't have one that's counting on the on the page here um, you can do that with a loop but uh, I'll tell you it's glitchy Excel wasn't really meant for that maybe better to have a user form that has I don't know but on a worksheet um, it could be glitchy at best it will usually will lock up and close down your Excel sheet and not be responding so kinda stinks okay let's at least have a reset button let's ignore the stop button for now because I can't think what we would actually do with that but uh, let's click on let's alt F11 let's make another procedure right next to that one let's say reset timer that's what we'll call this one so we're gonna uh, we're gonna get the last row last row is gonna be very similar so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste some of this except for the plus one we don't want to go one extra row although we could it doesn't matter so we're just gonna delete some stuff and we're gonna say cells let's use range range you can include a whatever you want so we're going to go a2 all the way through a end your uh, quote and use an ampersand and we're going to join that to our last row variable so that means a2 through a in this case three uh, dot clear contents hit tab there we go so it takes this A2 all the way through whatever's the last not empty cell and clears them out. Let's try it. Oops. Yeah, right click on the reset, assign macro, and let's go to reset timer and we'll assign that one to it. So I'm going to right click and just uh, cut that. Oops. Let's, uh, can you delete it? Let me hit the delete key on my keyboard. There we go. So we have a start and reset. I right click so I can move this let's have them next to each other so I'm gonna hit start a couple more times just so you can see what it does inserts that into whatever cell if I hit reset it'll take a2 all the way through in this case a6 and it'll clear them all out so I did it start start button start button start button start button start button reset and it's a basic stopwatch pretty cool so if you're doing laps or something And this will not lock up because it's very simple commands that we're given it to do. So it's just the whenever you put <coughs> the time in a cell and you keep overwriting it over and over and it keeps having to do that in a loop like a gazillion times a second, it will lock up your application. It might not do that if you you know, if you have it only print onto the cell a little less often, maybe every second or so instead of a bunch of times per second. I haven't played with that much. We were going to get into some uh, do loop or do while, uh, do until loops in a little while. We'll start posting stuff about that. But uh, right now, there's your stopwatch features. Let me know if you guys have any questions about that. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be batching out a lot more cool stuff pretty soon. So thanks for watching. God bless.